when we moved here in 1963, we just knew it was special, but we're not this special. <laughs> I worked for the Postal Service, and the post office was right there by the outhouse. And every day that I'd come in, there'd always be cars there taking pictures. And you see a big sign outside that says, Historical Two-Story Outhouse, that draws people's attention. like, wait a minute, two-story outhouse, and they're pulling in here. So, you know, you get the buses, you get the limos, you just get the tourists that just curious about how in the world does a two-story outhouse even work? Well, the short answer is gravity, but the long answer is a town secret. The real trick is to make sure that the two upstairs holes are not above the two below. Don't worry, it'll be the tinkle behind the wall as we tell them uh, that you're safe. That was a common practice, you know, I guess if you're friendly, you can go. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I don't know about that, but... Maybe. <laughs> Maybe if you have to go, I guess. Have you ever used the, the upper one? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And what's that like? <laughs> it's, it's different. <laughs> it seems like you're up in the air awful high. It was built in 1872 uh, for the old general store. Uh, again, downstairs was the general store, upstairs was the apartment, so they had the downstairs for the, the clients of the business and upstairs for the apartments. <laughs> I can remember when we went to school, uh, a lot of the kids, we'd go up to the general store and buy a candy bar, nickel candy bar, and, and then we'd always have to go in and use the, the two-story outhouse, of course we used the lower part. Ever since a kid we used to play, we used to play in the old general store um, and play around there. My folks got involved and be really the promoters of the outhouse. Which is why, as mayor, Gene Goodwin helped keep the outhouse standing. The village of Gaze purchased the building because it was the general store closed down after 100 years of service. They purchased it back in 1981, and then 1984 they tore down the old store and then uh, formed the park. With Gene's passing in 2001, the park was named after him, leaving his wife Nancy to be the unofficial outhouse historian. Fifteen years ago, I went on Associated Press, and we really got a lot of public attention then. Like there, said, look out below, and a big article came from Decatur or, or New Orleans or seen any outhouses lady. It's been in a lot of books, and it's just, I can't really pinpoint anything. I think they like to have fun, and it's just a fun thing, and they laugh, and they take pictures, and it's been really quite an attraction. I just think it's wonderful that they uh, have the park, and keep it up and and I just hoping the generations to come will do the same thing. Afraid of this building made out of wood, I scrambled and shook it as fast as I could. Oh please, oh please don't let me get wet. I only came here on a whim and a bet. In England they have urinals, in Paris bidets, but nowhere on earth has an outhouse like Gaze. 